Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this one will be a little bit of a short lesson. So in because the next one, if we put the two videos together, it will be a little bit too long. So what we will do, we'll split it in two. In this one, we'll set up the intent and the following one will actually use JavaScript to handle the form and actually submit the form to Stripe, charge the customer and return the right information to us if the if it succeeded or not. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in two parts. In this one, we're just going to set up the intent for Stripe. Now, in order to read more about that, is in order, let me just go, you go to uh, Laravel Cacher, let me just go in there, to the packages, go to Stripe, and you're going to go to payment methods, right? So if you want to read more about it, you can read it here. In order to create a subscription or perform uh, once of payments, Basically, with Stripe, you will need to payment method in order to retrieve it. Okay. So, when storing the customer information for future use via subscription, the, the Stripe setup intense API will be used to securely guard the customer's payment method details. All right. So, this is basically what we're going to do in this one. All right. So, if you want to read more about it, but you will understand it more when we finish the whole application okay but as we go on so but if you want to go and read more about that i'll leave the payment methods in the description all right so if we open up our web route like this you will see let me just that the view that we have just seen the checkout view is basically our checkout controller right here but i want to create a new controller actually for our payments and work accordingly but if you want to keep the checkout controller you can keep it and just change the methods to payments like this okay because that's the one that we're going to receive if we go to our membership let's go to the membership.index we'll see we pass in the route payments right here and that's the one i'm referencing okay so i'm going to call a route name payments so i just want you guys to be know where i'm at okay so let me quickly Okay, let me quickly create that uh, controller. So open up your terminal, PHP artisan make controller. We're going to call this one in the pages folder. Okay, and inside the pages folder, we're going to call this one. Um, let's create a new folder called Stripe. Okay, and inside that, we're going to do a payment controller. Okay, and then we press enter. Okay, so basically, if we go to our controllers quickly, under App ACP Controllers, you will see we've got a new Stripe right here, Payment Controller. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to do a get route. So do a get route. Um, actually, let's just copy this up there. So we're going to do a payments like this, and then we just instead of invocable, we're just going to do bring in that payment. Payment controller, okay, clause, and then inside that we're just going to do an index method, and then we're going to call this around name payments like this, right? And we're just going to copy this one down, and this one will be a post route, okay? So now uh, just do payments like that. Right, so I'm going to delete this one. Um, no. Let's just leave it for now because yeah i'm going to delete this one and this will be a post around so you can leave the name the same because when you do a post request it will go to this one and when you get get request right there but to be more like more understanding for someone that might not know i'm just going to rename my post round to payments.store okay so inside here i'm going to create let me just change this method name to store as well okay so inside my payment method dot let's go in there let's create those two methods so the first one this will be an index and let's create another one public function this is will be the store okay so this will basically handle to actually store the subscription information and create a new subscription in the database so this will need the request request like this okay so let's just save that okay so let's just open our nav bar right here partial nav 
and just look for the checkout. The checkout and the idea needs to change to payments. This the route we can just leave this to checkout. Right? Just as the view, but I'm not going to leave the view basically for the front end for the customer. Right? So that was just for us to quickly get to this point. So we can actually technically just delete it right here. So let's just delete it. Okay. Because that was just for the template wise, so that you guys can just see actually the draft. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do is we just want to return in the index, we just want to return the view. Okay, we want to return the view, and this one is going to be called um, stripe.payments.index. All right, so we haven't created that folder yet, so let's quickly go there. All right, so you could have just made it pages.payments.index. All right, so it's your convention. For me, then I will know, let's say I'm going to this folder right now. And if I look for my payment orientated wise, I will know if I'm going to look for the Stripe folder, I'll know this is where my payments are. This is where everything is happening. So, yes. Okay, so you can decide to do it however you want. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just creating a folder called Stripe and inside that I'm creating a folder called Payments and then inside that folder I'm just going to rename this. going to call create a blade file called index.blade.php. Right, so we got that Payments right here. So what I'm going to do under the Payments checkout, that index page, I'm just going to copy the checkout index and just paste it in here okay so i'm just going to delete the checkout folder or if you didn't do what i did you can actually just keep it the same okay so right there now the next thing that we want to do is we want to create that intent so let's just open square brackets like that All right so let's go to the documentation Right, in here you will see return the view and our case will be stripe.payments. Um, index and then we can just set up the intent so let's just copy this now as you can see we don't have a user variable so we could have done user and we could have set that to auth user like this all right so then we obviously need to make sure we bring in the auth facade or you could have done all this inline so we could have done authenticated uh, Laravel helper and when then we can just call on the user and then we can just create setup intent okay so that's what we got right now so the next thing that we want to do is let's go to our stripe payments intent all right so we go to that form this pay payments.index actually then we go to the form right here then we're going to look for the button all right so the button that we created so if you don't have one just create a button right there Okay, and on that button, we're just going to create an ID, okay, of card button, okay, and then we're going to set a data secret, data secret, all right, and then we're going to set that to be basically the intent that we just passed through as a variable, okay, the intent. And we're just going to get the client secret like this. All right. So, and then we obviously got our pain now. So, this intent client secret is needed um, in order to basically store and charge the customer and all that kind of stuff. All right. So, this create setup intent. So, let's quickly go to our user model right here. So, if we go to our billable trade right there, you will see we have manage payment methods. So if we click on that, you will see it's going to create a setup intent. So basically, this dot stripe, okay, so stripe right there, okay, it will basically set up intent and it will create with whatever options we pass in. Okay, so the PM type and all that kind of stuff. But you will see this in a second when we actually, um, let's just go to the, because 
I like it if you guys understand. Even if you don't understand, you can always re-watch the video. So let's go to our user model right here. So that will create a customer. Okay. So the payment method intent, what will happen now is it will set up, the, let's say, the payment type. In this case, so let's say it will be Visa or MasterCard or uh, American Express or whatever the card is. It will set this up to basically be a Visa. Then it will check the last four digits of the number. And we and with Stripe, it comes actually with a couple of cards, fake cards that we can use to test cards, actually, to use, because fake cards will actually be a problem if I say that. Test cards for us to use um, to, to, to actually charge this customer. All right, and the Stripe ID, as I mentioned before, is if we create a user, it will actually create a customer for us in Stripe. All right, so the reason why that's why I'm doing this in two videos, so that otherwise the videos will be too long, and I kind of want to explain what is happening. Otherwise, I'm just rushing through the whole thing, and nobody understands anything. All right, so we're going to set up the intent, and the intent is passed through to the Stripe the payments. Okay, so this one right here. So from here. We will actually handle the form, but we will actually do it with um, JavaScript. We will submit the form with JavaScript and all that kind of stuff. But that's why we're going to do this in the next episode. All right. So if you guys like the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please um, give me some positive or negative feedback in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to be able to handle the form with Stripe. All right, so that's it. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.